That sounds really cool too. That sounds really good actually. There are multiple ways to add risers to your track. You can take a simple crash and reverse that leading up to the drop, add the reverse reverb trick to one of your instruments in your track, or go the opposite way with some down lifters or impacts. But now with the new U-Jam Boost plugin, you can create high quality risers out of anything. This multi-effects plugin makes it very easy to add risers, impacts, texture, chair melodies, and even drums all within one place. So without further ado, let's get into the plugin. For today's demo, we'll be going to a track that I've already made called Patience, and this is the way that it came out. If you can listen to this bass over here, it's actually got a bit of a riser built in almost. And that's just how the preset sounds for that bass. That's not any effects added to it at all. Can I turn that off at all? Is that really a thing? We'll leave it like that for now, just so we don't hear that riser and mistake for something that's going on inside of the plugin. All right, finally, here is the finished boost over here and already love the design of this plugin. We'll go over some of the features over here in just a little bit, but for now, go into some presets. This is the initial preset, all rise. Oh, we can go on over to factory introduction and then do a few different things over here. We'll put on some drums later on. Let's put this on some instruments. Definitely add some energy there, huh? Like the opposite thing blossom, huh? Fair bit of warning here to use the plugin. You're probably going to use a lot of automation that we can tell when you want the riser to come in and go out. And so it's not like one continuous, like two bar riser throughout the entire track. But it's a very simple fix for what's adding a lot of energy. Kind of like a mix of both there. Really cool. a lot actually it's almost like a spin down but like with some extra flavor on it let's go and do that now actually it's going to add some automation that we can actually hear the full impact nice that would get really well for like some lo-fi or something like that let's do some more transitions full transitions Nice, okay. So when there's a riser that's too loud, I would recommend going and uh, maybe decreasing the mix. Uh, you can even go as far as like this or something like that. Like even that's better, right? So a bunch of different stuff to go through over here. I cannot go through all of them. Once again, I want you guys to have some of the magic for when you guys want to try it out and see what works best for your track. So I did make a couple different demos over here. Definitely more of like a lo-fi sort of feel, not as dramatic or moody. And as you can probably hear right now, there's still a little bit of a delay going on for the drums. So what I did over here, right, Analog Lab, or my drums, is on one insert 11. And then it's going on over to the drum bus, which has the finished boost. And it's also being side-chained uh, using Shaperbox 3 to that one. So whenever the drums hit, it'll actually duck down the volume from the drum bus, which has the boost on there. We'll take that off the master, so now we can only hear what's going on in the drum bus. So it's almost like I'm using it as like texture for my drums in the background. Very lightly, we can barely hear it, more like ear candy. And it's also not getting in the way of my actual drums over here with the Shaper Box 3. But we also have boost going on in the melody as well. But you're going to see the buildup and the sweep stops around like right here, not actually on the ninth bar. I feel like it fits the lo-fi feel a little bit better, and I'll teach you guys how to do that in just a second. I'm 
song, you're adding that texture with the drums so like just really helps make it whole and uh, helps fill in some spots without overcrowding anything. Going on over to a different one, I just made it, where'd it go? So I did a similar effect over here on the melody bus as opposed to the drum bus. I have all of my melodies linked to both of these. This one is the raw dry melody loop. And then the other bus has a plethora of different effects over here. Very small things like delay and reverb and then an EQ to make it so it's gonna be a bit thinner. But the main thing is going to be boost over here. I want to be very atmospheric and in the background with the main loop like this. This plugin is honestly great for texture. I know that's main selling point is being able to build a riser out of anything, but it is still a multi effects plugin and adding texture is so much fun with this thing. And then I delayed the drop by a bar over here with an automation of a different boost, which is actually on the master track. Again, only using the all rise. And before we hear that drop, I do want to mention this actually a melody loop from my pack, which you can get on over at simulationbeats.com. So I think it's enough demos for right now, and it's time for us to go through some of the features and build out our own track using this plugin. What do I want to make today? Let's try using Analog Lab 5, which again, we've got a video on if you want to go check that out. First of all, let's find a preset that we like. I am curious about using the uh, send effects over here. Let's try this. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh, that sounds really eerie, right? So basically what's going on over here in the features, right? We've got a very limited selection over here, but they all do a lot of powerful things. We're gonna start off at the beginning over here. These all represent different lengths. It's gonna be two bars, four bars, and eight bars. And what we're on right now is actually manual. There is no rising, sweeping, or anything like that. When it comes to adding texture, I really enjoy using the manual knob over here. And for rises, I'll stick to more two bars or four bars, something like that. And then eight if I'm really stretching it out. And as you can see, changing this one will actually change the different knobs over here as well. This is shock, going back to what we just had was mid air. So you'll always have something new by switching different presets. All right. Now, if we increase the mid air over here, it's a bit more present. It's not going to be like distortion or anything like that. It's going to help fill up more space like that. So I actually do it like it better, uh, higher like that. Now over here is the finisher. This is the, the main knob, okay? It's going to be what amplifies everything. Okay. Some effects sound really good when, with a higher one and decreased uh, the volume like this. But in order to go over this one, we actually need to go on over two, two bars. Any of the timed ones over here, two bars, four bars, eight bars, will have this become available to you. This is going to be how you rise, going up in volume and sweep. And then clicking over here will be the opposite. So this is how you collect like, your impacts or your down sweeps. It will now be descending in volume going from like two bars. And with this knob over here, you can actually offset that timing. This is going to help out if I want a one bar riser or even less, I can mess with this knob right here. I use this in our demo when I delay the drop by a whole bar. I did that by going up to two to one right here. And that's one thing I've been experimenting a lot with recently is that yes, technically it could be considered a riser because it's rising in that sweep and volume, but it's so subtle that one, it's not really gonna create an impact all that much. Two, it can act more as like texture, which again, love using this plugin for texture. So I could have this going out through the entire beat, just with this effect right here. But I'll be sticking back on over to manual over here for right now. Now, truth be told, there is way too many knobs going through different presets to really know what all of them do. So I'm actually not quite sure what disorientation uh, really does. But in any case, as you can see right here, this knob will always be about variation. You hear that difference though, right? All right, so it's going through the main board over here, but we've actually overlooked one little thing over here, which is very important. Saving it for later, this is going to be the different effects over here. We've got risers, impacts, and transitions, and then also different categories for track, drums, instrument, and vocals, okay? But let's cycle through some other things over here. That sounds really cool too. 
too. That sounds really good, actually. And then from there, you can start adding your different effects chains that really help complement this. For example, I like the effect a lot. Um, I might want to take a little bit and taper out some of the high end. Tuck it more in the background. Do some light panning. That sounds so good. The texture that's added to that is crazy. And that's really all you gotta do. Here's what it sounds like without the effect. Very dry. But then adding this... So much more depth, man. So much more. This is why I'm saying don't limit yourself to using only risers because th this plugin is capable of so much more than that. But also, let's stick to what the plugin is really good at and add a riser for this drop. But there's one last thing to do over here. We can actually put this on some drums as well. Like I showed you in a different demo, I use this more as like texture in the background. So see if we can't do something similar for this one. Try this on drums. So that one's more of a riser, obviously, right? It's actually, okay, maybe a little bit too loud, but that's, that's good. Also, don't be afraid to add more than one instance as well. I strangely like that as well. All right, so a very bare bones demo here, but I think that we really did utilize and show off what Boost can do with this one track, adding some ear candy to the melody, some texture to the drums, and then also a riser to lead us into the drop. So finally, let's hear all that culminates now. I think that I possibly could turn down the effects a little bit more on that one after hearing it all the way through, but in general, really like the texture that it added. So now it's time for our final thoughts on the plugin. So although this plugin's claim to fame is going to be adding risers and impacts to your track, it's important to remember to not limit it to just that. After all, it is a multi-effects plugin, so it's capable of so much more than just that. There will be a link down below to go check out the new UJM Boost plugin.